<laughs> oh, hey, man. Hey, it's the traveling merchant, man. I've been looking for you all over the place, man. You got like kind of a really weird accent. I, I don't really understand the word that you're saying, man. Uh, also, your, your llamas are kind of like trampling on my crops and stuff, man. <laughs> Man, I'm really sorry, man. I don't understand a word coming out of your mouth right now, but like, that is a really sweet looking shell, man. Would you be willing to take a piece of bread, man, for that shell? I, I want to put that in my hippie van. It's beautiful, man. Maybe try some of this, man. It's really tasty. I, I made this today from the organic farm here. The shell. Oh, thanks, man. That's so sweet. I'm going to make like a hat out of this. It's going to be awesome. Th thanks, man. That's, uh, that's great. Yeah, that looks like a pretty uh, interesting piece of paper. I, like I said, I don't understand a word coming out of your mouth, man, but like I just picked up a bunch of really nice organic beet roots, man. Be beet roots. You want some of these beet roots for the maps? Okay, th I think that's a good deal. I got like seven be beet roots, man. C can you say it for me? Beet roots. That's a lot of maps and a shell for a bit of bread and some organic beets, man. That's a good deal. Thanks for getting your llamas out of my field, man. They were pooping everywhere. And yeah, thanks for this really cool shell and these maps. They're, uh, they're kind of awesome. Thanks, man. I think he said goodbye. So yeah. Uh, bye, man. Bye-bye. Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the intervibes. This is Ren Diggin' in Nauga coming at you in another Minecraft episode for ROM, the Hermitcraft server. It's another beautiful day in the hippie commune, my friends, but some of you might have noticed already that there's something not quite right up in here. Unless I'm completely losing my mind today, guys, there used to be a hyperspeed inducing nuclear reactor attached to the back of Ren Bob's van. But apparently this morning, it has completely disappeared. What the heck is going on here? When I first saw this, I kind of thought it might have been a glitch or something. Maybe a chunk load error removed the nuclear reactor because I saw this floating trapdoor. However, there's a bit of nuclear reactor sludge up in here, which leads me to believe that shenanigans are afoot. And that's not the only bit of bad news for our favorite hippie Ren Bob guys. Where the jazz is Scarecrow Doc. It used to be right over here, keeping them squirrels and pigeons away from Ren Bob's juicy crops. But Scarecrow Doc has also disappeared. Hmm. Also, Llama. Although this isn't too much of a mystery, Renbob informed me on the CB radio this morning that he traded a few beetroots for some really, and I quote, cool pieces of paper. So <laughs> that Llama might have something to do with that. Oh man, my dudes, Renbob is gonna be one sad hippie when he wakes up in a few hours. No longer can he reach 1.21 gigawatts in his van. And after reviewing some of the evidence, I have very little doubt that Area 77 has got something to do with this. Unfortunately, I don't have any hard facts to corroborate my theory, guys, other than a little bit of sludgeage here in the RV campsite and the very glaring fact that our wall here at the Hippie Commune is currently incomplete. There's a giant gap over there, and if Area 77 did allegedly invade our hippie commune, they probably would have done it through that gap over there. Hmm, very curious indeed. So clearly the Area 77 spy network is doing a fantabulous job keeping tabs on what Randog and Grian are up to out here at the hippie commune, and that might explain the disappearance of the nuclear reactor. However, this is kind of playing into our master hippie plan rather nicely and hopefully the Area 77 lads got a glimpse of this massive silo that Grian has been building out here. And hopefully this silo and this farm are serving as efficient distractions from our main plan which is, of course, to steal Green's time machine back. But considering it looks like we had a security breach last night, I think Green and I are going to need to move our operations underground. And that is exactly what we're going to be working on today, my friends. Take a look at this. Skeleton, I'm trying to make a video over here, man. Jeez. 
Dang it, where was I? Welcome, Cyberdogs, to the brand new meeting room of the Hermit Hippie Collective. Where, as you can see, Ren Diggity Dog's been pretty busy doing some digging over the last couple of days. We are directly underneath Ren Bob's farm over here, and this is the hill of the spring water that is currently feeding Ren Bob's farm. One of you guys had a really cool idea about turning that hill into some sort of a secret meeting room. So I took it to the next level and spent the last two days excavating a giant giant cave. In the middle of it, we've got a mushroom. Well, it's actually a little bit of a mushroom meeting room. If <laughs> we come inside, there's a couple of cool hippie posters, and this is where Green and I are going to be hatching our plans from now on, hopefully far away from the listening ears of Area 77. I've also stuck up those interesting bits of paper that Renbob bought from CubFan in the beginning of the episode, and it's actually kind of useful. This is, of course, the aerial images that CubFan's drones managed to take of Area 77 before they were blasted out of the sky. Guy. And, well, Green and I might be able to use these to figure out an excellent plan to get the time machine back. But uh, more on that a little bit later. We've got a lot of work to do here on our meeting room. It's looking pretty janktastic right now with a tiny little mushroom in the middle of it. But don't you worry, my friends. Ren Diggity Dog's got a plan to take this thing to the next level. Take a look at this. Welcome back fellow hippies to my creative test world and to a quick look at what our meeting room is eventually going to become. This is the shroom room and this is where we are going to be having our meeting surrounded by massive beautiful glowing mushrooms which I guess have sprouted because of the very fertile water dripping down on them from Ren Bob's farm above. Yeah, that's the story we'll stick with, I think. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool from here, guys. I love how these mushrooms are glowing in the dark. And you can imagine this inside of that massive cave I excavated, right? I think it's going to look absolutely amazing. It's going to be a pretty difficult build for me today, though, guys. We need a bunch of very awkward resources like mushroom blocks and terracotta. So I think it's probably best that we stop into the shopping district for a couple minutes, see if we can get ourselves some of these resources. And if we can bring this to life on the server today, guys, I'm going to be one very happy Ren Diggity Dog hippie. <laughs> Luckily for us, and rather ironically, there is a place here in the shopping district where we can get a ton of shrooms. It is, of course, Doc M77's Shroom Sino, and I do hope that it is fully stocked right now. Uh, mushroom stems, yeah, we're going to need loads of those. Some actual mushrooms, we're going to need a ton of those too. Some brown mushroom blocks and some red mushroom blocks. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. We're going to need all of this and we're about to make Doc M very rich. Dang it. Ouch. I've just blown about a stack and a half of diamonds on shroom supplies over here, guys. Oh man, Doc rolling in the bling blangs right now. We of course still need to buy some terracotta and there is a shop that sells terracotta. I just hope that it is stocked right now because the last thing I'd like to do this afternoon is mine terracotta. Oh yeah, baby, the terracotta shop is fully stocked and we've just saved ourselves a couple of hours of time. Thanks, Cub fan. That was a pretty big spending spree, my friends. And you know what? While we're out here, why don't we check on the profits of our own shops, Big Rocks Incorporated and Big Logs Incorporated. Hopefully, we've managed to sell some logs and stones to recuperate some of our losses today. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we be cooking with gas. My dudes, you got to remind me to check on profits more often. 125 diamonds here in Big Logs. Beautiful stuff. That definitely pays for today's project. I wonder if there's any profits here in Big Rocks. Oh my goodness, there's been some sales here too, guys. 48 diamonds from Big Rocks. Absolutely amazing. Yo, Hermits, thank you for your business. You just made my day. We'd be rolling in the bling blang something fierce today, my friends. Okay, so while we watch this time lapse of the construction of the shroom room, let's have a quick chat about what we're trying to achieve down here. This was a build that I was a little bit worried about, if I'm honest with you guys, because it's one of those conceptual ideas that makes sense in your head, but because it's so out there and a little bit crazy, there's always that concern that it's not going to translate well into Minecraft. But after doing some sketches in my creative world, I thought, let's just give it a go. If it doesn't work out, this is Minecraft. We can just break it all down and do something else. Luckily for me, at some point in this time lapse, Grian showed up to help build up the walls of the shroom room. 
And those were really important because what we needed to achieve here was a very subterranean cave feel. And building those massive shrooms inside of a giant excavated square was really not working for me. So big thanks to Green for the help on that one. So the concept for the shroom room is pretty simple, right? We've got the secret cave below the hippie commune where Green and I can have meetings. And in this cave are going to be massive giant mushrooms. Now giant mushrooms aren't exactly the most difficult things to build in Minecraft, but to make them look really amazing, you do have to spend a lot of time on detail. And as you can see in this build, we're using a large variety of different blocks to build the mushrooms. And by using all of these different types of blocks, we're able to create a huge variety of different mushrooms, changing up the textures, changing up the shapes, and finding cool ways to make the mushrooms really look amazing in their shape, form, and design. And by the end of a good two or three hours of grinding down here, I was very happy with how the shroom room was turning out except for the janky little mushroom house in the center of the chamber. But don't worry, my dudes, I took care of that one like nobody's business. Three real life days later, my friends, and the shroom room is finally complete. <laughs> my goodness, the grind has been real, let me tell you, but the results are breathtaking, my friends. Cannot wait to take you down into our fungi infested cave. But we've got a couple of things to attend to on the surface first. Just spotted these giant mushrooms that have sprouted up around Ren Bob's veggie farm. Looks like the spores of the shroom room are particularly potent and are probably making their way to the surface via our janky little entrance over here and it's probably a good idea for us to plug this hole now because seriously we can't have these sort of giant mushrooms all over the place man they look beautiful but i gotta tell you something man they stank something fierce i've also got one more hole to plug up over here guys this is the trap door that i've been using to get down into the secret lair of the hippies but when I woke up this morning, I had a bit of a panic. That was a very dangerous thing to do. If Doc and Scar are wandering around the hippie commune looking for clues, if they had discovered that trap door and gone down, they would have gone straight into our underground digging operation and our entire plan would have been given away. We're trying to distract them on the surface. We want them to be looking at the silo, at the farm, at the RVs. We don't want them to be going down holes and discovering what the hippies are doing underground. Ground. Oh, and I just want to make sure that Green has plugged up his hole in his RV. Yes, there was another way to get down into the caves here, but that has now been covered up. And that means, my friends, there is literally only one way to get down into the subterranean warrens of the hippies right now. And that is via Ren Bob's toilet. Yes, really. You know what? This might explain why the soils of the shroom room are particularly fertile, my dudes. It looks like the missing nuclear reactor and Ren Bob's digestive system may have been producing some particularly fertile poop. Moving swiftly on, flushing yourself down Ren Bob's toilet is now the only way that Grian and I can get down into the hippie caves below. And as you can smell, it's a pretty stinky journey to get to the shroom room via the toilet. So hold your noses, cyber dogs. We got a Shawshank Redemption our way through the sewer pipe to get into the shroom room. But it's definitely worth it because this build has turned out absolutely amazing. Take a look at this, my friends. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the shroom room, baby. Man, what a glorious sight. And no longer do us hippies have to meet inside of a janky mushroom house because we now have our very own meeting room canopied by giant mushrooms of awesomeness fertilized by Ren Bob's poop. Yes, it's a thing. Okay, let's go through some of the finer details of this build because there are so many cool things to see down here, starting with the meeting area itself. We've got a couple of comfy chairs for Green and I to park on while we hatch our plans against Area 77. And in the middle, we have got a barbecue because every hippie campsite worth its salt needs a barbecue. You know what I'm saying? We've also got a boom box to blast some epic 70s tunes down here while we snack on some delicious food and herbs on the table. We've got some cup holders with them beverages. And man, I gotta say, the vibes down here feeling real good, my friends. As far as the build itself, some of these giant mushrooms were actually kind of challenging to make, especially these concrete powder ones. Had to use string, of course, to hold up the concrete powder, but they turned out really, really nicely. I absolutely love the glass mushrooms too. And of course, in each of these mushrooms, we have a bit of glowstone, which adds a wonderful glow inside of their cavity 
quality when you look at the mushroom from a distance. We've got a bunch of detail, of course, all the way around the chamber. Because remember, guys, detail in Minecraft is what sets your builds apart. And even though it has taken me the entire week to do this, it is so worth it when we have a look at it. We've even got a fish in this one, diamond ores also inside of some of these water features. Like I said, Ren Bob's poop is uh, particularly fertile. And the most awesome thing about this chamber, guys, is that there are a number of ways to get in and out of it. Ren Bob's toilet is not the only way to get into the shroom room, guys. Take a look at this. In one of the corners of this very fungalicious chamber is a little cave network that will take us into the excavation chamber. And that is really sweet. I love the fact that uh, Green and I are able to connect our builds like this. I think that is turning out really, really nicely. Unfortunately, you can't spend too much time down here, guys. As we already spotted on the surface, the spores of these mushrooms are particularly potent. So if we want to get ourselves out of the shroom room, we're not going to be able to go back up Rendog's toilet. Instead, we're going to be using this rather nifty little door over the pressure plate into a bubble beta and boom, we pop out right here in Renbob's veggie farm. And I suppose that explains why Renbob's crops are really juicy, right? We've got some very fertile stuff coming out of that hole. But there we go. Green and I now have a proper meeting room in which to plot our plans against Area 77. And if we have done this properly, Scar and Doc will have no idea what is going on underneath the surface, nor will they know how to get down there even if they did catch wind of it and that cyber dogs is what we call in the business a job well done now as i mentioned earlier this build has taken the entire week to complete and in that time i did manage to catch up with Greer. he sent me a message early one morning saying that we needed to chat because apparently he actually caught doc and scar snooping around the place take a look at this are you okay ren i i've got some news bad news Green, we have an emergency situation. Wait, well, yeah, I was about to say, I've just yeah. seen... I've just seen Doc and Scar skulking around in here. What? And I reckon, I reckon they've seen some of the hippie secrets that I've been <sighs> building. Yeah, you didn't see them by chance run off with what used to be a hyperspace-inducing nuclear reactor, did you? Dude, I've been staring at this the entire time talking to you, and I hadn't... I didn't realize <laughs> at all that it was gone. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Okay, so that's what they took. Yeah. That's what, they, that's what they were here for. It's bad news for Rainbob, man. He loves flying around in, hi in hyperspace. He's going to be one sad hippie, let me tell you. Yeah, but didn't didn't you steal that in the first place, though, to be fair? Uh, well, Rainbob stole it. I had nothing to do with it. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> totally about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> They're totally justified in taking that away from you because you stole it from Scar in the first place. <laughs> They obviously have eyes around here. They're spies in abundance. Yeah, dude, have you yeah. seen this? Have you seen the, the we... little truck they've got over here? Yeah, we need to do something about They're this, watching. man. Well, you know, I'm a oh. little bit ahead of you, actually, on that front. Here, let me show Ooh. you. Let me show you my little secret. But if you come down here, I have been working on a little project to make our way into Area 77 because I'm trying Ooh. to get my time machine back. Look at this. Isn't it awesome? What? Dude, this is insane. Oh, man, yeah. this is awesome. I'm making a tunnel to, uh -huh. uh, uh, to tunnel under Area 77. And here, let me show you. I made a... I, dude, I've even done some redstone. Let's check this out. Okay. Whoa. Wait a minute. When did you learn to do redstone? This doesn't <laughs> make sense. Yeah, I totally copied a tutorial, but that's not the point. <laughs> Bye, Ren. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's oh, gonna that's be great. the tunnel, and it's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need your help actually, because it's quite a long way to get to Area 77. Okay. And then hopefully we can break through, get into Area 77, and yeah. take back what's ours, or you take back what you stole in the first place. Okay, makes sense. Um, I've also been working underground, and well, we're gonna have to get out of here first though. So. Yeah, straight yeah. up, straight up the ladder. Straight up the ladder. Okay. Yeah, it's not particularly well hidden. Yeah, um, I've been working on a little bit of COVID operation myself, right? Trying to make sure that they don't see what we're doing around here. Yeah, it's so... not. Oh, oh whoops! <laughs> <laughs> I just saw your face, one. <laughs> Professional <laughs> Minecrafter, right here. Um, so it's not quite finished, okay? So bear that in mind. Um, 
It's all the way up here, I told you, under I this tree. I saw you working down there, but I had no, yeah. I had no idea yeah. what you were doing. Yeah, bit of a secret entrance, right? So we've got lots of cool things coming up. We don't want them to see it. There's and no I ladder thought, here. Yeah, you're just going to have to fall. You're just going to fall? Yeah. There Ow. we go. Yeah, I saw you um, working down here, but I didn't know what you were doing. I was just like, yeah, I'll leave them to it. You made, you made a mushroom. Yeah, it's it, this is a meeting room. That's the idea. This um, is a meeting room. Yeah, a meeting mushroom, should we say? See what I did there? And Mush you got some, room. you got some maps over there as well. <clears throat> mushroom. Uh, also, I've made you some delicious beetroot soup from the organic oh. croppage that Renbob is farming. So that's good. These are maps of Area Seventy Seven. Uh, apparently, Renbob traded them from Cub. I think they're pictures from the drones um, of Area Seventy Seven. They don't actually oh, work, okay. by the way. They're broken so maps. So why they don't did Cub give it to us? Um, I guess he wanted some beetroots, my dude. I don't know. Gonna have to ask well, this him. This is outdated. Look, my silo. I've actually built that. I need to explain the whole silo thing as well. Yeah. We're not very good at communicating. I didn't know you were doing this. You didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> we need to communicate better. Well, that's what the shroom room's all about, my dude. <laughs> we have to okay. Have lots of meetings down here. What's inside the mushroom? I'm dying to know. <laughs> Welcome to the shroom room. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. This is uh, this is cozy. So is this yeah. is this the actual room or is this temporary? This is temporary, but we can hatch a couple of hippie plans in here for now. Uh, okay. The, this entire chamber will eventually be a giant shroom room of some kind, but this will do for now. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we could we could definitely make a lot of like Minecraft farms, like flower yes. farms, sugarcane farms, all of the natural products that all fits in with our hippie theme. I agree. And then we can we can fill up this silo. So my plan with this silo okay. is to build a giant RV sticking up in the air, and they will start theorizing about what it's going to be. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal all my cards yet, but we're gonna right. have a giant RV sticking up out of this hole, and that should keep them fairly distracted while we create even more distractions with all the farms and stuff. They'll okay. have no idea what we're yeah. really up to. Yeah, I think we got a we got a solid plan here. Yeah, sweet. Also, Llama. Yeah, where did he come from? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's become abundantly clear that things are starting to heat up between the hippies and the man. And I'm very much looking forward to see where the story goes from here. Unfortunately, though, we have run out of time in today's episode, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I do hope you love the Shroom Room as much as I do. And of course, if you did enjoy the episode, please don't forget to shroom up that like button like a nobody's business. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, you know what to do. There's a subscribe button and a jingle jangle bell. Smash them both for the hippies cause. And my friends, thank you so much for watching. I need to get myself out of this chamber because, oh man, it is stanky down here, my friends. We will smell you all in the next episode. <laughs>